Hey, what's up Halo fans? Welcome back to another Halo video. In today's video, we are going to be discussing about what's the difference between Halo CE Anniversary to the original Halo CE PC Gearbox version that was released in 2003. We are going to be talking about the pros and the cons between the two. But please do keep in mind, Halo C Anniversary is a Gearbox port. It's just been modified by 343 over the years and here and there. So right off the bat, if we take a look at the frame rate per second comparison here between the two versions while switching your weapon and main link, you can tell the Gearbox version looks very choppy compared to 343 version. Halo C Anniversary looks very smooth. The Gearbox version didn't fully run at 6 FPS sadly, it was locked at 30 FPS, while Halo CE Anniversary ran at full 6 FPS which was great, however, there is a issue with Halo CE Anniversary FPS when sitting in the Warthog passenger seat, but even the Fire Ring weapon and the cutscene looks very choppy too, which I hope they'll do fixes, but other than that, it looks great. If you look at the reticle and the UI in the Gearbox version, it looks too blurry compared to the Halo CE Anniversary version. The CEA version looks very sharp and clean. Though, yeah, though I like the help bar, the style in the Gearbox version compared to Halo CE Anniversary, which I hope to be added back in the near future. Halo CE Anniversary has FOV option. There was no FOV in the Gearbox version. Before you guys tell me, oh shit, you can download mods that solve these issues. Yes, I'm totally aware that you can download mods like Chimera and the Halo CE Refine campaign mods for the Gearbox version. In this video, I'm talking about the Gearbox developers specifically on what they've added in the official Halo PC version in 2003. The retail version, not the modern community where they came over and fixed the game because some people don't know how the official game was like in 2003. So anyways, the FOV is there by default, built into Halo C Anniversary. You can hop into Halo C E Anniversary settings and play around the FOV slider at any time. The Gearbox port should have had this long time ago. You don't have to go on the internet and search about these issues and then download some uh, modern files just to get the good FOV. And what's even better, there's FOV option for vehicles too in Halo CE Anniversary, which is a nice option. It gives you a much better view when you're in the vehicles, right? Halo CE Anniversary multiplayer has improved the netcode. And this is a huge one for me and for everyone else. In the Gearbox version, it is completely broken. Whenever you're shooting at the enemy player, he basically teleports and I can't even shoot him. Even you guys can. You guys probably experienced that. You'll never get this issue in Halo CE Anniversary multiplayer. And the delay too. Whenever you throw the grenade, it's such a disaster in the Gearbox version. Yeah, I admit the netcode may not be the best, but when comparing to the Gearbox port from 2003, it's really bad. Halo CE Anniversary has a voice chat built in-game, and also a much better text chat system too. I mean, yeah, I know this might be minor for the Gearbox version where you are type into a friend and you might ask him something, hey, you wanna play Slayer? And he might look the other way and message will disappear. And you might think he was ignoring you. The text chat system in the Gearbox version is awful. It doesn't even save your previous messages. While Halo CE Anniversary saved your previous messages and he has a scroll of bar too where you can read all of the previous messages. It's so much more convenient. You know, the Gearbox version isn't even searchable compared to the Halo C Anniversary. I mean, it was never searchable. Halo C Anniversary has co-op support campaign, where you and your friend can hop into the campaign and start having a blast at playing Halo. While the Gearbox version never had this feature, so you're always going to be alone playing the campaign, no matter what. But one thing I want to point out for the co-op issue, in Halo CE Anniversary. And it's a minor, but when you're playing the second mission in Halo with a friend, you don't see any of the object grass. But when you're playing the, the playing on solo, you can see the uh, object grass, right? Which I hope they do look into fixing this issue. I mean, 
It's, it's a minor thing, but oh well. Halo CE and Rosie has a controller support. Yes, I know Halo CE and Rosie on PC is meant to be for mouse and keyboard, but it's nice to have controller support in Halo CE Anniversary because it does bring more controller users over to the PC version. So it's a nice option to have. Halo CE Anniversary has an option where you can switch to newer graphics at any time, at anywhere. And this is a fun feature and very reversible when switching to a new newer graphics. It's a huge change. And not many games don't even have this kind of feature. So props to 243 for implementing this in. Halo CE Anniversary Campaign has achievements, skulls, terminals. You can hunt for those, you can turn on skulls. Halo CE Anniversary Multiplayer has matchmaking. The Gearbox version doesn't even have matchmaking system where you can rank up. You know, you know, build up your own XP's. You can easily find a simple match of social games of 4v4. Halo CE Anniversary has some of the original restored texture in some parts like the ones we see in Silent Cartographer. Look at the comparison video here. The water texture looks a lot better. And the Soul Rifle Weapon 2, you can see how better texture in Halo MCC version like how it was on the original Xbox back in 2001. You can see the scratches on the assault rifle and also assault control room where you where you're inside the covenant structure there are restored textures in the halo ce anniversary in the hallway and the control room too and you don't see none of this in the gearbox version it was all empty and broken if we take another perspective at the gearbox port from 2003 the reason why everyone actually enjoys that version to this day it's because you can literally download custom made mods and you can make mods too. They have the official tools for it. That's the only advantage that keeps the Gearbox version alive currently. All because of modding. It's what makes the Gearbox version very unique compared to Halo CE Anniversary. The 3 are planning to make Halo CE Anniversary to be moddable and maybe have Steam Workshop available in the future possibly. You never know. Uh, we could likely have the ability to play on those classic fan make uh, custom maps such as Cold Snap, Extinction, Who Jazz, you name it. The good news is, guys, the good news is though, is that the modding community already found a way to bring some custom edition maps to Halo CE Anniversary as you can see here. Another thing Gearbox version has, Halo CE Anniversary doesn't have currently is the server browser. You can easily find servers with a full lobby. I'm eagerly waiting for a server browser for Halo Master Chief Collection because it's been too long. Because Halo MCC really needs a server browser. This would be excellent for custom games. Please, Tier 4 3, add it inside the game for us. While Gearbox did it right again, I know this is very minor. I still feel like I want to point this out. But they kept the blood splat. So what I mean by this is, when you're mailing a dead elite or a jackal on the floor, you can see a lot of blood splatting everywhere. But d 3 got this wrong in Halo C Anniversary. You can see the comparison video here. It should have been like that in Halo C Anniversary. It seems they reduced, it seems they just reduced the blood splat in Halo CE Anniversary Master Chief Collection on PC. I mean, come on. Who doesn't love mailing aliens and jackals and, and spying the blows everywhere? <laughs> in the Gearbox version, you can see your own stats on the scoreboard while you're playing a online match. You basically can see how many score, kills, death, assists, and ping. And this is something Halo CE Anniversary multiplayer should have, which I hope they will to implement this type of scoreboard because it's pretty cool to see uh, the stats and everyone else without having to wait for the game to end just to see it and I also like the fact that you can have an option to change map and game type while in, in game it's something that Halo CE Anniversary doesn't have currently in the MCC version you can't even have you can't even change team like Commander 3 how, how would you miss that out completely it's something it's really basic 
How would you miss that out? The gearbox version has better audio when it comes to firing your weapon. I feel like Halo C anniversary sounds more quieter. So whenever you're shooting, it sounds like someone is firing their weapon in the next room almost. Here are the comparison video here, so you know what I exactly mean. Now you watch that, you can see which one sounds better. So I hope you 3 do address this issue. If you look carefully at your teammate's green arrow in Halo C Anniversary, it looks very small compared to the gearbox port. I really hope you 3 do scale it up. It's quite hard to know where your teammates are. I have no idea why they've made it smaller in, in the MCC version. No idea why. I noticed in the gearbox version where you get to see black bars during cinematic while the Master Chief Collection doesn't have none at all. And it doesn't really feel like I'm watching a, a cinematic. There is something bizarre about the Master Chief Collection. I just find Halo CE cinematic gearbox version a lot better with black bars in my own opinion. It would be nice to have an option to have a you know to have a cinematic scene with black bars. You know it would be nice. Another money thing here I am about to say again but both versions have this problem. Remember this carefully they have this same problem. Where in multiplayer whenever you die and you drop your weapons and grenades look how big the assault rifle looks and the grenades too look how huge they look compared to the body it's like the same size of the body <laughs> look at the ar it's the same size as the body man that's that's funny and this goes for all weapons by by the way and not just one weapon i hope this video does fix this issue it looks so funny but stupid at the same time but do keep in mind it is completely fine in the campaign as you can see here just not in the multiplayer currently so please do three address that but anyways other than that those are the pros and the cons between the two versions you guys might ask me so sure which halo c and version i should play then for me personally i will move over to halo c anniversary because it's more stable than the gearbox version in my own opinion over time Halo C Anniversary will receive official updates from 343 while Gearbox have officially stopped doing updates for the original Halo C PC years ago. So no one is officially updating Gearbox version. You can pick up Halo C Anniversary for, I don't know, 7 pounds? You know, 7 pounds or 10 dollars on Steam? So it's definitely worth every penny. Halo CE Anniversary original graphics are downgraded compared to the original Xbox version from 2001. But hey, Diffle3 said they will be looking to fixing the shader transparent and the bumps which is great to hear. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop the video here now. I think I said enough. Let me know down in the comments below which Halo CE version you prefer. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Halo content. I'll see you Halo fans in the next video. Goodbye.